Gail Grinnell. I'm visiting Weber State University, the Shaw Gallery, and doing a site-specific installation here. And I'm from uh, Eastern Washington originally, uh, Richland, Washington. Um, but I've been living in Seattle, Washington and working as an artist for the last 30 years. You know, I did a site visit um, before planning. So I think about this place, I think about the work I have, I think about the ideas behind it uh, that are driving my particular interests at the time. It becomes about the place in terms of the final form. So I've been working with this material uh, since about 2010. All of these materials are not made by hand as a very arduous thing for this piece. These are, this is a, an accumulation over time and through space and situation of different bodies of work that are pinned together all together to, to react to this space. The challenges of creating any site-specific art is flexibility is key. Knowing what community you're going into, what what are the patterns of use in a building or in this room. This installation didn't work out initially exactly how I was thinking of it, this, the volume of the space. The site-specific installation are collaborations between the, the place and the people. Having student workers here uh, in Mali, there's a lot of dreams floating around. There's energy in it. Well, how I achieve balance when developing the work and also assembling it on site, uh, there's some similarities between the two activities. None of them are particularly relaxing for me. <laughs> it's full of a lot of tension and I try and transfer that tension into the pinning process uh, so that there's just the right amount of tension on the line so that it will form the, the installation. All of this work is related to matters of the heart. It, it, my heart and my family and the culture that I am from. I, it really brought to mind the traveling that I did with my parents to get away from the, this World War II built town that was pretty grim in its origins. So my childhood, I spent a couple of years washing and mending blue tarps that I found on the street um, that were cast-offs from whoever had been using them before. I have fond memories of sitting under those blue tarps at my picnic table, you know, as a little kid. I, I say that because I, I don't want that to just be a, uh, a mystery that there's a ratty blue tarp in the middle of these fluffy columns that are reminiscent of trees, but they're built from domestic product, you know, they're, they're from my mother's sewing box. So it's, I, I kind of want to link those things conceptually. And then I, I hope that they're of such a common variety that someone will find something to relate to in it. There's more of a storied background to it that I'm experimenting with. I usually don't reveal as much about my own past, um, but you know, I'm at a point where that's what I'm doing. I love doing this work. I like uh, working with the different people and places, and um, I intend to continue doing more creative work in some manner. I'm not sure what form it'll take as when I go forward. <laughs>